Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection, and today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 5 Collection. I got the PlayStation 5, luckily, at the end of September 2021, so I've had it for just over three months now, and we're going to have a look at what games I've got for it. Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5 was an incredible game by Insomniac Games. I couldn't get into the main Spider-Man game. I don't know why that was. Uh, maybe it was a lot longer, but uh, Miles Morales is only about seven to eight hours long. There's a lot of side quests you can do on that game. But overall, it really impressed me with the story, with the characters, and also because it was set at Christmas time, and that's when I played this game over the course of Christmas 2021. I just had a really good vibe to it, so I thought Insomniac Games did an incredible job on that one. You know, I've spoken so much on the channel about Kina Bridges Spirits. This was the main reason why I wanted to get a PlayStation 5. It wasn't for any other game that I saw at the reveal of the PlayStation 5. This game really caught my attention, and when it was released, I just couldn't believe just how amazing this game looked. This was made by Ember Labs, an independent studio, and it's their first game. And for what they did in it, just blew me away with the environments, with the characters, the enemies. It was just an incredible experience. And I, I just cannot believe still to this day that this was made by an independent studio, not a AAA studio, and it just looks so amazing, plays so well, and it's just a game that I can highly recommend to anyone. Immortal Phoenix Rising by Ubisoft really surprised me. It's an open world game, but it's nothing like Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Van Halo, where it's just an amazing open world that's takes up to a couple of hundred hours to complete this one is more condensed down into a smaller world but there's so much to see and do here it was just a fantastic game to own i gotta say it was a review that i saw by a channel called skill up that really made me want to get this game the way he presented his review about Immortals Phoenix Rising really caught my attention so uh, a big, big shout out to Skill Up for that another follow Aussie a YouTuber that's doing amazing things but it was an incredible game so much fun there's a lot of DLC for it uh, it's like playing a different game altogether with a DLC one uh, of the DLC packs is set in China so it's a really cool game by Ubisoft I've always been a massive fan of Ratchet and Clank, going right back to the PlayStation 2, all those amazing games that was on the PlayStation 3. We only got one game on the PlayStation 4, and here we are with the PlayStation 5, one game. Let's hope there's going to be more in this series. This is definitely a next-gen game, and the use of the SSD is incredible uh, going through the different rifts in time from one environment to the next is instantaneously i think that's what they really wanted to showcase here in this game uh, for the first time we see a female lombax along with a ratchet that was really cool the story only goes for about eight or nine hours a short game but it fills that void that i've been missing for a long time with ratchet and clank games we had a lot of games on the playstation 3 one on ps4 and now one on ps5 so let's Let's hope that Insomniac Games will give us another offering sometime in the future. It's just an incredible series. Here's another one of those games that I saw at the reveal of the PlayStation 5. This is by Giant Squid who did Abzu and it's called The Pathless. I was kind of wondering a bit about this game when I first saw it, if should I get it or not. And again, it was Skill Up, his review on this game, saying it, uh, a game not to be missed. I Got it because of that review, and I saw it on Oz Game Shop going for about $39, I think it was, so I got it, I put it in PlayStation 5, and I started playing it, and I thought, oh, maybe this isn't something that I was going to enjoy, but five minutes later, I was so hooked on this game, it's just getting used to um, using your bow and arrow with the talisman to move you forward the uh, kinetic energy it's got a great story and i explored every plateau before i would go on to the next one i just wanted to find every secret do every puzzle just 
searched that environment for everything. It was just an incredible game that I enjoyed so much. And the ending in that game was, wow, it was incredible. Such a great title that I think a lot of people would have missed. It would have flown under the radar for sure because there's a lot of great games on the PlayStation 5, but this is something that should not be missed. It's an incredible game with amazing graphics, great story, and it just has an amazing art style to it as well by an independent developer that's just incredible what some of these independent developers are doing they're putting to shame honestly the triple uh, a some of these triple a studios it's just incredible and this is a game i can highly recommend to you please check it out it's an incredible game spirit of north enhanced edition i thought this was going to be a game that i would really like i enjoyed it for a little bit then it just became a grind to me this is in 4K, but honestly, it just doesn't look like 4K to me when I played some of the other games, and I'm probably comparing them to Ratchet and & Clank and also to The Pathless and Kina Bridge of Spirits. It may not be fair, but honestly, I, I, I found this game to be a bit of a grind, and I just didn't really care about... I didn't invest the time in this character, the, the, uh, the wolf, uh... A lot of people may like this game, and I think there is a lot of people out there that really enjoyed it, but it's not for me. It wasn't something that I really enjoyed. The puzzles weren't that great, and the uh, story just sort of dragged on a bit, and like I said, it was a bit of a grind. It wasn't something that I enjoyed at all. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Wow, an incredible single-player game by EA with no microtransactions. How odd is that to see a game by EA with no microtransactions, but it is such an incredible title. And I think there is going to be a sequel to this. I really enjoyed this. There is a bit of a Metroidvania feel to it as you have to go backwards and forwards between these planets. It's not like a massive... Uh, world that you get to explore universe you get to explore you there is a lot of backtracking as you uh, get more jedi force powers in it and towards the end there is something really cool to look forward to i won't spoil it but it's so cool cutscenes are really good the voice acting is great um, there was a few glitches in the PS5 version, uh, opposed to, uh, I played it on Xbox One originally, but it's a fantastic Star Wars game, it re restores faith in the Star Wars franchise, so please check this game out if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to really enjoy this one. Now, Chris Tale, I played that a long time ago when it was a demo and I really enjoyed it, so I was so happy to find a physical copy of this. This is made by a small team out of Columbia, which is really cool. It is an RPG based on the RPGs I used to play back in the day, and I gotta tell you, um, I got my ass kicked a few times in this game i put five hours into it so far it really is one of those rpgs back in the day that you would have to grind level up and that's what i had to do for a couple of hours to level up my characters to defeat one of these uh mid bosses it was just crazy but it's got a great art style the voice acting is really cool the uh environments are sort of based out of the uh colombian uh i guess they're their art and style it just is an incredible game it looks like a fairy tale when you look at it but it's further from the truth to be a fairy tale it's it's a game that's going to be hard and you really need to invest some time in leveling up but an incredible game by a small indie studio now here's another game that i got based on skill up review uh, a plague's tale this is really cool it's based on the plague back in the, i think it was the 14th century uh but the story is has, isn't really got anything to do with the plague itself but they just used that because there's rats in the game so this was made by a french studio 45 people um it's an incredible looking game for a small studio the enhancements on the PlayStation 5, I've, I've looked at videos from the PS4, the PS5 version. It's incredible what they have done with this on the PS5. It's The main characters in this game is a brother and sister. And most of the uh, other uh, people that j join your party are, are kids or teenagers as well. So it's got a different uh, story to it based on those characters. And it's just a really cool game. Uh, and the rats are just really 
it's just crazy how many rats are on screen and um the music that goes with it the environments are well lit it's a very dark game uh there's one part that's going to be so frustrating there's going to be rage that's to do with a cart but once you get past that it's that's the only part I didn't like about it. Uh, overall, an incredible game. There's going to be a sequel coming out to it. So if you haven't played this one, give it a go because it is great. And it's so great to see a lot of these independent studios doing incredible work. It's just so great. And this is one of those games that really did take me by surprise. And um, yeah, it was something that I really enjoyed. Okay, so back in the day, I never played Alec Kid in Miracle World. And for me to pick this game up on the Master System right now, it's about $250. It's just crazy how much those prices of that game has gone up. I paid $32 for this game. Look, it's a really hard game. I played it for a little bit. Uh, it is what it is back in the day you would have three lives game over. I think there's a mode in it where it gives you unlimited lives and that's what I really need for this one. And here's the last game that I got on my PlayStation 5 collection, Sackboy, which is really cool. I really enjoyed the Sackboy games back on the PlayStation 3. I just wish this game would have had the level making like the old ones did. I don't know why they took it out of there, but this is a story-based game. It is such a cool game. So, um... It's still going really expensive here in Australia. I don't know why. I, I had to pick this up. A game from Oz Game Shop. I got it a, a bit cheaper from overseas. It's crazy. But yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, it's a great game. Really enjoying it. But I just wish we would have had the uh, level making design in this game. Would have been really cool. So that's pretty much it. That's my PlayStation 5 collection. There's a lot of amazing games coming out over the course of 2022 that I want to get. So hopefully this collection will continue to grow and also I can continue to defeat every game that I get on this system. And that's my main goal. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.